Adam, we progress in the FA Cup again, a feeling that we got used to last season. Arguably one of the toughest draws we could have got at this stage when we first entered here at Telford, but 1-0, um, clean sheet, perfect Saturday afternoon. Yes, uh, to come here and win a FA Cup yeah, after last season, you know, people are waiting for you to fail, especially after the run we've had. Um, hardest game is after a run is winning your next one in the FA Cup and, and we've done that. And to come here against arguably probably the, the biggest club in the league, um, I mean, the infrastructure here and everything about it, um, it's a massive football club and we've come here and uh, we, you say we, we've done a right good job. Um, in the first half, we could have been better on the football, but you know we we came, we played it played it in a shape. Um, that was the only criticism really in the first half being better on the ball. But in the second half, I thought we were better on the football, and we created loads, didn't we? So um, to come here and create as many chances, what we did against the side, you know, as well that they were a good side. You know, they battered some teams down here, um, don't concede many, and. Um, Again, arguably it could have been three, four, five, you know, in, in that second period. But yeah, away from any, I'm just delighted with the shift that the lads put in. You know, anyone has seen them today, they absolutely ran themselves into the ground, blocks when they had to, and getting a clean sheet. I think I thought we deserved that against Bowl. I thought we deserved that against Royston, um, Carts, Hutch, Putty. Oh, the whole defensive unit was was a different class. You know, um. And I, I love that. I love all that in, in defenders, sticking the bodies on the line, winning headers, winning tackles. Um, and then we looked a massive threat going forward. So, yeah, all in all, delighted. Um, and for the travelling fans which have come today, I think, yeah, I think they probably enjoyed that. You know, so, um, in a, like I said, it's an unbelievable stadium. So, um, yeah, n another game. Obviously, we're backed up on Monday. So, um, yeah, we'll go on to the next one. Yeah, you mentioned the defence um, that marshalled the game really, really well, but they had Paul White back behind them as well, um, which we've, we've said for six games, haven't we, that he is one of the best keepers in the league and anyone is going to miss one of the best keepers in the league when he's not there. Yeah, he brings that level of assurance um, and not only that, his character, he understands the game, he knows the game and um, you know, I think he got harshly treated um, in, in what happened. But what he has, he's got a big character and he's been there every week. He's been part of the dressing room and absolutely delighted for him to come back, keep a clean sheet and um, that sums up his, his character. Uh, but, you know, last week I thought Jake, Jake LeBan was excellent as well, you know, coming in there, not really played pre-season. So um, credit to, it, to him as well. So, uh, but no, and, and for a football club, you know, as we always said, you know, told the... The bus stop in Leicester Colville, and we've come away to an excellent um, Telford team with lots and lots of good good players on the football pitch. So obviously, happy days. And just quickly, talking of big football clubs at this level, we go to Nuneaton Borough next Saturday back in the league. Yes, another another big club. Um, again, great infrastructure. Um, whole thing about about the place. So again, we, we, we'll hopefully go, go and do go, go and do what we do. Um, as we've said, you know, we've, it's important for us to keep ramping it up, keep getting better, and um, and we look forward to to the next game. With with, you know, it's nice to have um, a bit of a breather again midweek because, like I said, there's a lot of tired legs. The lads were immense in what they did.